And if you've been thinking about how you can dress your characters in minutes by simply using some wearables which you can apply to your models with a single click in real time and watch them intelligently align themselves to the skin weight of your model, then MetaTailor, which is a brand new tool that is currently in early access, might just be the tool for you. As this is now currently available and anyone that is willing to check it out can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring them right here where they can start exploring. And if you'd like to be part of the early access testers, you can simply go right over to the section where you can apply and get an early access. Hopefully, this is going to come out as a tool which would offer a free and also a premium plan. And today, we're going to take a look at how you can get started with it and all of the things that you might need to know when trying to explore it. One thing to keep in mind is this tool is currently in early access, which means lots of things might not exactly work as they are and certain parts of the interface are still yet to be complete. Of course, if you want to explore this and check it out, then we can simply go ahead and get started. Once you download and launch the app, this just opens up. Installation for this is super easy as it just happens with a simple click. And the next thing you need to do is to hit the play button and this just offers you the chance to start playing with the app. With MetaTela open, right here, you'll notice you've got an import a project. You can create projects here and you can find stuff about the community from here. Creating a project is super easy as once you click on that, this launches you into a new window. Right here within the window, you notice that you've got one avatar which you can work with. Within the clothes section, there's a couple of clothes. There's also accessories. You can find decals here, some templates, and also avatar. Currently, this only ships with one avatar, but if you're within the Discord community, there's also a female avatar that you can download and work with. This alongside how you can also import your own custom outfit and use them to clothe your model, we will discuss as we progress. Right over here, you get to find design, which deals with all of the outfit that you'll be using to clothe your model, and you can stack as many of them as possible as this works by layering. We've also got the import and also export, which we would look at as well. Furthermore, if you like to access certain tools, you need to to select an object for that. In this case, we'll simply select the model. You notice that we've got a few tools that we can work with. And for the viewport setting, there's just a very basic set of things that you can do here. So the first things which you want to learn how to do before you start clothing is navigating across your viewport. If you press down the middle mouse button, you can pan your model around. If you press down the right mouse button and drag, you can upbeat around the model. You can also roll the middle mouse button in and out to zoom in and out. And that is how easy it is for you to navigate around your viewport. And for us to start clothing, simply involves us going to the clothing section and selecting any of the outfit that we want and because this is a fresh new build for you to get those you can simply double click on any of them to start downloading and you can download as many of them as possible and how you start clothing is super easy so for any of the outfit that you like your character to have all you need to do is click so a single click would put that within the design section and you can simply do that for as many things as possible so maybe you want some pants there you would like your character to wear some boots you can also go ahead and do that and maybe if you like your character to put on a mask you can also do that too and once you get that done you would notice that we have some overlapping geometries and this is fully layer based and this means that everything works based of how they were being applied and where they exist within the layer for example if we like this jacket to be right on top of this we need to click and drag it all the way up and this would automatically adjust that if we like this calf to be underneath we can do the same thing and if we also want the pants to be right on top of this we can also do that too so the whole idea is you need to layer your your object how you want them to be and to all of the objects you select within the tool section there are mesh tools and also layering tools that you can work with although the layering tools doesn't seem to work exactly as i thought they will because in situations like this where we have the camo and i choose to do a simple pull out the camo doesn't pull out if we say pull out to body it doesn't do that and if we say tuck in it actually doesn't really do so much. So either I'm not getting how this works or maybe this is just there for future updates. Something which is quite interesting is the mesh tools. So with the mesh tools, you can do some sculpting. You can either sculpt on layers or you can sculpt on the original model. So if we click on sculpt original, we can use the grab tool and we can grab parts out. So for example, we like to clean up the sections. We can use the grab tool to just grab those parts out and we can do the same thing on parts like so. If there are parts where you like to smooth out, you can use the smoothing tool to smooth those things out. And if you're happy with what you've got, you can click on the confirm button and this would automatically confirm. Of course, we do have a few sections here, which we would also like to go back and fix. There's also a few transform tools. These tools will come in handy once you start fitting a custom outfit to any of the models that you have here. And for go all the way down, there is a pose matching, which has no update and tool here. There's also the material. And from here, you can choose to play with either the hue of the material that you have or 
the saturation of the material that comes with the mesh that you're working with at the time. One more tool which I think might be useful for mesh is the lattice tool. So in this case, if you want to use the lattice tool to sort of deform the mesh, you can. So you can use the lattice tool and deform the mesh if this is what you want. And this lattice tool comes in four different variants, the 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, and also the 5x5. Five five. At any point in time, you can always go over to the content browser and update the outfit of your model. So we would like to change the kicks of this and we would like to take away this one. So to get rid of anyone, click on the X button to lose that. And if we're happy with what we've got, we can now go over to the export section and export our model as an FBX file. You can choose to include several things with this. Say for example, you would like to have the clothing, the skin weight, the clean bones, and also the avatar. Any of the ones that you don't want to have, you can simply turn them off and export the necessary files that you want. Now, once you export this file, it's worth mentioning that inside of the folder where this has been exported, you do find the textures there, and you can also find CSV files that deals with the material and also skin map. So, and if you've done rigging long enough, or probably you're a technical artist, you would find this one quite useful. Two things to note is if you're working with Blender and you load up this file, well, the first thing you notice is the amateur is very, very small. You'd also notice that the object doesn't come preloaded with all of the materials, and the same thing can be said for Maya. Although for Maya, you'd notice that the joints that you have is quite fitted. And again, the materials don't ship with this. So if you like to get those materials working, what I would suggest that you do is to simply come over to any of the tools that you want to work with, go over to the shader editor and pipe in all of the textures that comes with it. And if you're working with Maya, you can also do the same thing. You do have the object selected, then you can go over to the hypershade and also pipe in the textures right there. For those who are new to Maya and probably would like to learn more about the hypershade, we do have an introduction to hypershade video, which I'm going to link in the description. And so in Blender, we can go ahead and add all our textures. And once we're done with the textures, we can switch over to the edit mode and edit the joints to fit into the model. And after that, we can go over to the pose mode and start posing the model. Go over to the import section and from here you can choose if you like to import an avatar or cloth or accessory. So if you like to import avatars, just simply click on the import button, locate the avatar where you have it saved. In this case, we have the meta tail of female a pose and we can simply click on open and this would open and import the model. If you do have textures that you like to assign to this model, you can simply add those textures from here and you can also choose to play with the skill right over here. If the object that you have have lots of material, you would find all of the material list right here go over to the next step click on auto map and click on next step now with our model here we can now simply click on that model and swap the model that we have with the new one automatically the clothes also adjusts to the model so we can go in and make some of those changes in this case we're just going to come right here have that selected use the sculpting brush so we can use that to just simply sculpt and drag some path out probably paths like that let's confirm that and you can also choose to use the lattice tool like we looked at earlier and you can use that to do some good so i'm just going to confirm that click one more time and we can start moving some interesting points and I believe for every of the model that you'll be working with, they need to have some form of rigging. Like just bringing basic 3D models in here would not cut it. So I would suggest that before you bring the model, try to make sure that you use tools like AccuRig or Mixamo to rig these models and then you can throw them in here. And for accessories, we're simply going to go over to Sketchfab and download something. So in this case, you like to bring in your own custom accessory. You need to make sure that you're either getting an OBG file or an FBX file. Right here in MetaTailor, we need to go over to the import button, clothe an accessory import, locate the file that you want to bring in. And just like we did with the avatar, if you do have texture maps that you like to load, you can simply select this texture map and have them applied to the model. Go over to the next step. Just going to define this asset as an accessory and we can proceed to the next step. Now, now within the next step, this is where the whole posing starts. So I would like to move this and we can do a simple rotation and make sure that we fit this to the custom model that we have here. And once we're happy with that, we can click on confirm and we can also do some pose matching. So for example, you have this as a cloth or maybe an outfit and you like to match certain parts of your model so that they fit properly, you can use all of these bone pointers and match them just to fit into what you want. And once you have this going, you can click on confirm, move to the next step and this would automatically adjust. And because this is an accessory, we can now place this accessory wherever we want on our model. However, we choose to place this accessory, we can. You can choose to also navigate across your viewport and you can place the accessory exactly where you want it to be. In this case, we've just placed the accessory and you notice that it's flipped the other way around. So for us to actually get this looking how we want it, we can go ahead and use the rotate tool, rotate this into position, 
and we can now match this and with all of the tools that you've got here you can use those to position the model sculpt it and get the best quality of what you want and just like we showed off with the back that is exactly how you can also bring in every other thing so if you like to bring in some custom outfit that you like to fit into your model you can bring them in do the proper adjustment align them to the model and get them fitted these things are automatically saved to the app so at any point in time you close and open up the app you would always be able to find them and it's quite interesting and pretty intelligent to see how this ship shifts and wraps onto any of the selected models that you have and it is quite brilliant what they've done with it this is a beautiful tool for anyone that would like to test it and i believe that over time this is going to get better than what we have currently i don't really know if the name meta taylor is exactly what it should be but for the most part this simply offers you a good chance of cloning your characters really quickly by simply using some pre-designed tools or custom tools that you've made tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.